now we come to the effect of temperature change okay effect of temperature change on a reaction now let us try to understand this is also very simple to understand so we have done this and we are into into this right effect of of temperature temperature change okay what happens if you heat something okay, if you increase the temperature what will happen fine what do you think will happen yes pressure if, if pressure increases without 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 any change in in volume then then what happens number of moles per unit volume that remains the same it is only the concentration won't change but but you are putting in heat into the system you, you are heating it up okay so actually it will depend on whether the 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 direction of movement of the reaction depends on the direction of movement of the reaction depends on on what on whether the reaction is on whether the reaction is is exothermic or endothermic or endothermic okay now what happens in an exothermic reaction here what happens the reactants give you products plus energy okay okay the enthalpy of of these two will be different okay okay and the delta h so the sum total of all the energies of the products so delta h will be the total enthalpy of the products minus the total enthalpy of the reactants and that gives me and that is see what happens if it has got some amount of energy okay and energy can neither be created nor be destroyed okay this is this is an exothermic reaction right exothermic reaction then this energy must have come from the energy that was stored in the reactants okay now if that some amount of energy has been released to the environment it means that the energy of the product has to be less than that of the reactants so this is negative why as we just discussed that h product is less than h reactant correct that is why that is why this happens okay fine so delta h will always be negative for an exothermic reaction for an endothermic reaction okay reactants plus energy gives you the products so delta h here as well will be h products minus the h reactants and you can very well understand whatever energy got added to the reactant 
that that gets into the product is it not that gets into the products and what happens then the h of the product will be greater than the h of the reactants so so this this is equal to positive okay why because h of products is greater than the h of reactants this is something that you should keep in mind because the moment you are not given anything else but the delta h values and just by looking at the delta h values you have to tell whether the reaction is endothermic or exothermic okay now try to understand what happens okay you have these two reactions what happens if temperature goes up as temperature increases so you are supplying more energy to the system that's how the temperature has gone up what will it try to do it will try to consume that energy it will try to consume that energy right it will try to consume that energy it will try to reduce that energy right okay so so what happens these are these are bidirectional reactions now that we understand those things so so in an exothermic reaction what will happen it will try to consume that energy how do you consume that energy which which direction will be favored opposite forward or, or reverse sure see because because if you start consuming energy then then if you want to reduce that energy then then you have to consume it okay the reverse is where the energy is getting consumed to give you the reactants so what will it try to do it will try to consume this energy and the reverse reaction will be favored understand so if delta h is less than 0 that means if the reaction is an exothermic reaction then then what happens so so as temperature increases the the reverse direction in an exothermic the reverse reaction in an exothermic reaction is favored okay so what happens your product starts becoming lesser and lesser and your reactant starts becoming more and more, more, and more. what happens to kc kc becomes less or less so kc becomes less than what it was earlier understand you understand the impact of the temperature change okay and it is for the first time that you are seeing the change in kc itself otherwise what what was happening till now since there was no temperature change the kc was absolutely adamant constant it did not budge whatever we did we changed the pressure things changed so as to achieve the kc okay you change the concentration the things changed so as to achieve the kc but now the kc itself has shifted okay the goal itself is shifted you understand so and the only time that will happen the moment the moment 
you change the temperature, KC shifts. And that we have been discussing from the point we started discussing the equilibrium constant. Okay? I told you. And, and, and there, is a, there is an equation that will define where it will go and what it will become. Fine. But, but this, is, this is how you understand. So, secondly, as temperature increases, the forward reaction, the forward reaction in an endodermic reaction, in an endodermic reaction is favored, is favored. So, the, so more of the product is formed, okay, and less of the reactant will be there. So, what will happen? More of the product, less of the reactants, product concentration is always in the numerator, no? Reactant is in the denominator. The numerator goes up, the denominator goes down. So, Kc, so Kc becomes larger than what it was earlier. what it was earlier. Understand? Okay? So, it is the nature of the reaction which decides what will happen when you raise the temperature and the temperature itself is not the absolute deciding authority. Okay? It has to be linked by, by what kind of reaction you are working with. Understand? Fine.